Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Crack Gate Online. So uh, I am back with the fourth video of transmission video lecture series, and this will be the lecture on transmission. Uh, and today's uh, lecture, I am totally going to concentrate on the numerical uh, which was asked on in the gate in previous years. Okay. So this is about me. I am Rakesh Ranjan. I did my MTech from IIT Kharagpur and uh, uh, my All India rank was 31 in year 2013. So directly I will jump uh, without wasting time to today's agenda. So let's start. So this is the question which was asked in year 2010. Let's go through it. The speed reduction in the first low gear of tractor gearbox and differential with final drive are 5 is to 1. First low gear, so transmission box, I uh, discussed about the structure of uh, tractor transmission. So you know, here will be the engine, then clutch, then transmission box, then differential will come. So what did he say? The speed reduction first low gear. So this transmission box is in first low gear and after that differential is there uh, and after that final drive will be there. So what it is saying uh, with uh, gear box its reduction is 5 is to 1 and after, uh, uh, with differential with final drive it is 40 is to 1. Okay. So 5 is to 1 uh, reduction will happen in gear box and after that combination of differential and final drive 40 to 1 reduction will happen okay uh, so for the tractor developing 24 kilowatt power at engine rpm of 2000 uh, with an overall transmission efficiency of 80 percent the total torque in kilonewton meter available at the wheel axle will be okay so uh, what data we are getting uh, they are given uh, 24 kilowatt of power uh, which was developed by the engine and engine rpm they have given and finally they are asking about uh, torque okay so see uh, they have given the rpm and they are asking about the torque okay so first we will need to calculate the torque value uh, at the engine because whatever the torque we will get on the engine that will be multiplied further in uh, get uh, tractor transmission gearbox and uh, differential and final drive okay so first we will calculate we are having value of p and n so we are very familiar with this formula now p equals to 2 pi n d right so n value is given n is in rpm so you will put the value 2000 upon 60 so and uh, p is 24 kilowatt given 24 kilo of watt of power is being produced by engine but here you can see transmission efficiency is 80 percent so not 100 percent of power is being transferred from uh, engine to uh, final drive uh, or wheel or any power output uh, so only 80 percent is getting uh, used uh, on the source so power will effective power generated will be 0.8 into 24 kilowatt right so from here we will calculate how much is the torque from the engine okay so we will put the 24 into 0.8 upon 2 pi into 2000 upon 60 so we will get this torque value 0 0.09165 kilo newton meter this much torque engine is generating uh, where at the um, uh, engine but for the torque multiplication there is transmission box differential and final drive right so that will multiply it to torque so uh, here it is given that in first low gear uh, with final drive we are getting torque multiplication of 5 is to 1 and uh, with with uh, sorry yeah, with gearbox and with uh, differential and final drive we are getting 40 is to 1 so if this much torque is getting generated here so it will be multiplied by 40 at the differential and 
file drive and file at the transmission box. So first multiplication will happen at transmission five times. Its stock will be multiplied by five times, and then forty times will be multiplied at the transmission and differential. So finally, uh, we'll get eighteen point three three kilonewton meter at the wheel axle. Okay. So you saw how simple these questions are. Uh, you have to put uh, only a simple formula, uh, and you have to multiply it. With its speed reduction or torque multiplication. Okay, so this question was asked in 2010, and its answer will be 18.33. That is option B. Okay, so let's go through one more question. So uh, this question was asked very recently in year 2015. Uh, let's go through it. A flail mover is operated using PDO power of tractor through bevel gear drive. Okay. The tractor forward speed is 10.8 km per hour. The velocity of flail tip with respect to ground is 18 m per second. Velocity of flail tip. Okay. Flail, you know, uh, there will be blade, and uh, due to centrifugal force, uh, flail will keep hanging, and when it will start rotating, it will become straight. Okay. So th that is flail. The length of each flail is. 400 mm and diameter of shaft carrying the flail is uh, 100 mm. If the tractor PDO speed is 8000 rpm, the required bevel reduction is. Okay, let's go through. Uh, so what it is saying? How much bevel reduction is required? So you know V. Uh, so uh, what is the case? So how bevel work? Uh, let me try to draw it here. Okay, I'll take tip pen. So there will be a disc, okay, and there will be a hanging flail like this. Okay, so it will keep hanging like this. This is the blade, but when it will start rotating, no. So it will become very straight, like this. Okay. So when it will start rotating, it will take a circle and it will become like this. Sorry for this. This drawing is very frugal. So from center, this is its center, and uh, it will rotate like this. So what uh, is the uh, what is given in the question? Forward speed is given, right? Forward is 10.8 km per hour. The velocity of flail tip with respect to ground is 18 m per second. So this this value is given 18 m per second. Okay. So uh, from here 18 m per second you uh, that v is given. This v value is given 18 m per second. So from here you can calculate. What is the RPM of flail? Because you know the radius and diameter value for this. This will be the radius, right? This is R. Okay. So uh, see here, uh, the length of each flail is 400 mm. This length is 400 mm, and diameter of the shaft flail is 100 mm. This whole thing is 100 mm. This is 100 mm. And this is 400. So its radius will be 50, right? Up to here, up to here, this thing will be 50, and this will be 400. So total, if from center, if tip distance we will see, this will be 50 plus 400, so 450. So radius is 450, and its velocity is given. V equals to 18 meter per second. 18 meters per second. So You can calculate. You know the simple formula: v equals to omega into r. V equals to omega into r, and omega equals to two pi n. So here is the formula. So you will keep all the values, uh, and you will get the RPM, right? Will get the RPM uh, equals to 382.165. So this much RPM is required at the blade. Here, the, if this much will be the RPM, we'll get the Velocity of 18 meter per second. Now you got. So uh, you need 382 rpm at the blade 
right and now uh, in question if you will see what it is saying that pto power of tractor through bevel gear drive so uh, you know uh, pto power uh, pto rpm is given 800 rpm so this is pto this is pto here we are getting 800 rpm after that uh, bevel gear reduction is here right so uh, here is bevel gear day reduction there will be some sort of reduction here okay and then it will finally go to the blades okay this is the blade this is the blade okay so here we are getting 800 rpm here you need 382.165 rpm so what what should be the reduction here so simply uh, divide this rpm upon that rpm so you will get how much reduction is required on this bevel gear and that is what they are asking so here you can see 800 rpm upon 382.2 so 2.09 uh, reduction is required so um, here 800 rpm will come and uh, there will be a drop of 2.09 times of a speed here so finally we will get 382.165 rpm so final answer will be 2.09 so b should be the uh, appropriate answer for it okay and uh, here you can say they have given forward speed uh, uh, there is no use of this data so get used to do things like that uh, sometimes they will provide the data which is not required at all so don't uh, you know trap in this type of thing uh, so finally i am going to solve one more and last question in this video and uh, this question was asked in gate 2008 so what it is saying tractor gearbox has 8 forward speed tractor ratio uh, num number of engine revolution for one revolution or driving wheel varying exact geometrical progression okay so what it is saying that uh, there will be combination of gear right one two three four gear so all the gears are speed ratio is in geometrical progression gp uh, so uh, in mathematics in 12th you must have uh, learned that uh, geometrical progression will be something uh, with this structure so a a r a r square so this if you will divide second term with a first term you will get a common r value okay and uh, a r square upon a r again r so uh, this uh, ratio will remain constant in geometrical progression if the speed ratio in highest and lowest gear is 14.9 and 108.8 respectively what will the geometric constant okay so uh, so this will be a combination first speed will be a then a r then a r square so here you can see uh, first speed is a r right where is my cursor yes first speed is a r second is uh, sorry first speed is a second is a r third is a r square so you can see uh, third is square fourth is cube so eighth will be how much eight minus one so here you can see second term is two minus one here third term is three minus one okay so uh, eighth term will be a r to the power seven means a r eight minus one okay so a r to the power seven so a value that is first speed is given 14.9 and eighth value it's eighth speed it is saying no final speed uh, so uh, that is given 108.8 so uh, this you got simply divide this by this so, so r to the power 7 will get 108 upon 14.9 so when you will solve you will get r value is 1.33 so r is the geometry constant so finally you got uh, it is asking about the geometry constant so geometry constant value will be 1.33 okay so with this uh, i'll end this transmission video lecture series this was the final video i hope uh, you will able to solve most of the question asked in the gate on the transmission if you are facing any problem please put it in comment section and happy learning thank you